All right, our last video got cut off there, ran out of space on my camera. Um, but we're actually done with the exterior of the car. Overall, super, super clean. We're gonna go ahead and check out the interior. Just get the brightness up in here so we can see a little better. All right, perfect. Door jams look great. Everything's in really nice condition. All the buttons look awesome. The seats are in great shape as well. Again, I have the flash on. It's a little bit brighter than it should be in here. Highlight any perfections. Uh, we do see a light wear here, but nothing actually cracking or splitting in the leather. Checking out the door panel. All the carpet's in great shape, leather's in great shape. I'm not seeing any wear along the edge. All the buttons, handle, your buttons, every, all the buttons and everything in here look great. Even the carpets here below. The rear carpets look phenomenal. Back of the car looks pristine. Headliner looks perfect. Visors are in great shape. Even the steering wheel. Also very nice condition. Very minimal wear that I can see. All right, let's check out the passenger side. All right, so on the passenger door, Again, very much like the driver's side, all the buttons, door handle, everything looks great. Again, I'm not seeing any wear along the leather. Carpets are in great shape. Same with the speaker boxes, plastic trim. Door jams look awesome. Passenger seats in great shape. Tiny, a little bit of wear here. Very minor. Carpets are in excellent shape. So this one did come with the dash cover. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real quick so we can check it out. All right, so the dash cover is off. Dash is in great shape. These are just to hold the cover down. Not seeing any bubbling or peeling or anything like that. This one does have the uh, Sport Chronograph package. You guys get your sport mode here. So along the interface, um, again, all the buttons look great here. From what we can see, the only thing that's showing some wear is going to be um, your air controls. These are a little worn out and showing some wear. That's about it out of the entire car that I can see as long as your controls and button, even the shifter. It's in great shape. Alright, so we're going to jump back to the driver's side and we're going to set the car up and go through some of the options. So currently it's got 30,553. Looks like we're gonna get some gas in here pretty soon. Uh, the screen on here looks great. We don't have any cracks or any um, differences in color. All that's in real good shape. Radio and all that works. The only issue that we're having as far as this navigation, um, we're not sure if it's the wrong disc or if it's the player. But when we're starting the nav, uh, basically it just gets stuck here, and it'll say unable to read disk. Um, so it does have navigation technically, but currently we're not having it able to work. Either new D DVD or probably a player, one of the two I'd imagine would fix this issue. But given how old school they are, we just left it alone. Again, 
let's just uh, offer your air controls here. And I'll let that run through. So we're gonna let this warm up a little bit before we give it any revs. Let's check out the bonnets. So you actually get really nice trunk space back here. Got a little cargo net in back. All of it in very nice condition. So this one does have the rubber floor mats in here as well. This is actually where your TV player is. There's more of the compartments there. That's where your battery will be. Very nice condition. All right, so I'm gonna put this on pause just for a few minutes, and we'll go ahead and do some reds. Okay, so we're getting about warm right now. I'm just gonna show how this chronograph function works. You actually do it through your cluster. So right now I'm gonna start the timer. And that's essentially it. So if you were gonna track this or do a lap, whatever the case may be, you click it in, there's your lap time. So. Pretty neat feature. All right, let's go ahead and give the car some revs. Sounds very, very nice. I don't want to go crazy on the car, but you do get the idea. Definitely in very nice condition. So go ahead and shut off the car here. Do have uh, two keys as well with the Cayman. All right, and one last walk around here. Alright, so that's going to conclude the video on a 2007 Porsche Cayman S with 30,000 miles. Overall, super, super solid car. Um, just driving this car is probably one of the funnest cars out there. And this one, the mechanics are second to none. I mean, just phenomenally well kept. Again, my name is Vince from Midline Motors. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call. Our office line is going to be 480-470-2500. Thanks for watching.